Greetings, this is part four of the review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, there's three parts or four parts I've already uploaded on this. And I've already covered this in a video, previous video, but tagging, as far as tagging is concerned, as you and I might know it, where you have the ability to tag or use a tag across all of your uh, environments. The S Note does not allow you to tag notes and have those notes, or rather have those tags be usable or uh, usable in other notebooks. So if you are using a notebook uh, for biology and you suddenly discover that, oh, dogs and mammals, or dogs and dolphins are both mammals. You've already created a dog notebook and a dolphin notebook, and you discover that the mammals is what joins them together. You cannot create a tag called mammal and use that tag mammal for dogs and dolphins. Why? Because the S note is not nearly as good as it could be. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've already gone over this as well. You cannot select handwritten text and then squeeze it down into a smaller piece of text. I think uh, it's pretty basic. It's a you know Microsoft Paint had that in 1996. Uh, Galaxy S Note does not have that at all. The only thing you can resize are images. Uh, yeah, you can activate the OCR, so you can't reselect the text that you've already written and have it converted into OCR. A gross oversight, I would say. You can um, move the text, or rather, you can open up a uh, a viewer, a storyboard by clicking in the middle of the notes, say for example between the 2 and the 24, and it will give you this pop-up. Um, <clears throat> you can move these around, but in order to edit, or rather to edit the order, you can't edit or sort by last edited. You click the edit button and you have to move them around manually. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> you can sync to Google Notes and Evernote, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, SNB files are dead ends for other users. You cannot share SNB files and expect your SNB file to be readable by anybody else except Galaxy S Note. As far as I can tell, SNB files are dead ends. You can't export them as MP4s or OG OGGs or any kind of other viewable format. For example, if you recorded the solution for a math problem in your note, you couldn't share that on YouTube which is a gross oversight again on Galaxy S Note. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, the S, the recording tool, you can't export the, uh, the drawing recording. That makes it useful. Uh, you, can you can tag individual pages, but the tags um, appear only for that group, so you can't, again, it goes back to the mammal problem, dogs, notebook, dolphin notebook, you can't have one tag that unifies them as mammals. Um, <clears throat> I'm beginning to wonder if there's a patent on ePen videos because uh, it seems like the technology seems like an obvious step given Khan Academy and all the other pen based videos out there. Why can't Samsung S Note provide the same? I do not know. Um, this goes out to all the other S Note users, Galaxy S Note users. What other stylus apps are available and are any of them any good? I would like to know if you have any opinions on other stylus apps that uh, make your Galaxy S Note more useful. Please share with me. Thank you and this concludes part three. Part four coming up. Happy computing!